Hi everyone and welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. I was just thinking how I miss doing favorites videos. I haven't done one in a while and I miss just sitting here in my office and doing like old school videos and just talking about brands and products and books and shows and all that kind of stuff that I've been loving lately. So I thought today I would do kind of a May favorites, sort of like mini haul type of a thing. And most, if not all, of the brands that I'll be talking about are like ethical or fair trade or organic or whatever. So I'll be telling you a little bit more about the brands as we go through. So let's just jump right into it today, I guess. I know what I'm wearing today doesn't look all that exciting, but this is a t-shirt dress from Crochet Kids. They're one of my favorite fair trade brands, and I actually got to go to one of their warehouse sales a couple weekends ago. and pick up a few of their things on sale. And I have a video of that haul so you can see the other things that I got from Crochet Kids, but um, I hadn't even really like tried this dress on, but wearing it today, it's the weekend, it's like the perfect dress just to wear on the weekend. It has a little pocket, I know it's hard to see, but it's just like super comfy and cute. And then my jewelry today is from Carly Jean Los Angeles, and they make a lot of their basic pieces in LA, so it's local to me, so I also really like their stuff. I'm not exactly sure about their jewelry, like if that's made locally, but this necklace says LA, and then I just wanted some like gold hoops. So I've been wearing this combo pretty much non-stop lately. So continuing with just like the very basics, I'm going to show you some chonies. Everyone wears underwear, don't get too excited. Actually, I'm trying to get Jensen to switch over to underwear. So that's like the next step in our summer goals. But anyway, these are by Organic Basics. And I've actually had quite a few messages on Instagram from people asking me if I've ever been able to find like fair trade or sustainable Mommy, underwear and basics. Mommy. Yes. Hello, Deepy. Are you watching Blippi? I and it did take me a while to find brands that do that so I've actually tried a few things from organic basics before I have just like some basic t-shirts from them and some other underwear and actually I like these ones better they're a little bit thinner than how they used to do them so this updated version is a little bit more comfortable I also got this tank top that's just kind of an undershirt and I think that the color is so pretty it's really well made really soft so on their tags they say that these are designed in Denmark and sustainably produced in Portugal. So if you go to their website, um, the prices I think are in euros, so it looks a little bit off at first, so you do have to switch it to dollars if you are shopping from the United States. I really love kind of like the Scandinavian, like minimalist, simplistic style. It feels so nice against your skin, and it's just nice to like invest in some really good basics. I feel like I used to always buy tank tops to just wear, you know, underneath clothes and I would just spend like a couple dollars on them and they would just get so ratty and thin and awful after a couple washes you know I was like embarrassed for anybody to see those so their stuff definitely lasts longer and wears much better than some of those cheaper things that you can just pick up at Walmart or something. So if you're looking for really well-made quality basics, I would definitely suggest checking out Organic Basics. I was so thankful that they sent me a gift card to get the things that I got this time, and I actually have a 10% discount code that you can use if you're interested. It's Megan OBC2. So that'll get you 10% off some really, really nice basics. I got two tops this month. I'm like seeing a pattern here with the shades, but these are from Elegant Tees. They're one of my favorite fair trade brands. They're probably the brand that I have the most pieces from, either Elegant Tees or Crochet Kids. They're both really great. And so Elegant Tees actually collaborated with this fashion blogger that I followed for a really long time. Her blog is Jay's Everyday Fashion, so they collaborated with her on a couple of pieces. This is just a really pretty v-neck t-shirt with a pocket, but the pocket is just kind of like extra droopy. I don't know why I like that so much, I was just really <laughs> drawn to that. And I love the color, I love this blush pink, and like all of Elegant Tees pieces, their fabric is really, really soft. Everything they do is fair trade and it's handmade in Nepal. I've only had this shirt for a couple of weeks, but I've worn it like five times. <laughs> it's super comfortable and just goes with everything. Hi. Mommy, How's I'm going to do deep Huh? I'm watching Deepy. You're watching Blippy? I'm watching Deepy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
I also had to grab one more from this collection. I love this top with the buttons down the center and then it ties at the bottom. I think a shirt like this is so cute with like a midi skirt or just with jeans or whatever and the color is so versatile and again it's just really nice quality so <laughs> I just have to show you the color scheme that I'm going for here. Very neutral kind of monochromatic thing happening but I love it. I can get a lot of wear out of all of those shirts. I can wear them for a long time. It's not like they're gonna be out of style anytime soon. They're not gonna fall apart on me so I don't mind investing a little bit more in nicer quality shirts. Okay everything so far is kind of like pinkish. I have another favorite that I wanted to show you. I did a little Glossier restock. I don't know if you're on the Glossier train yet, but I really like their skincare. So I got refills on a couple of things. So this is their setting powder. They call it their Wowder. I think my shade is light medium, and I like this because I have oily skin, but I don't like the look of like powdering it really heavily and then just it turning kind of cakey and then still ending up oily at the end of the day anyways but just looking weird so this is more of like a lightweight powder and it sets whatever like foundation or tinted moisturizer that I use but it doesn't really look like I have powder on my face so I like this a lot and I've been using it for a couple months now so I just needed to replace that one I got a sample of the perfume is it called you yeah Glossier you I don't know, I don't love it. People go crazy over that, but eh, wasn't my favorite. This is, though, let me get to the actual product here. This is the Glossier Solution, and if you have oily, acne-prone skin like I do, then this is really nice. So after I cleanse my skin, and I still use my favorite Beauty Society cleanser, then I use this on a cotton pad. This has salicylic acid in it, so you can just really feel it like cleaning deep in your pores and just kind of helping to exfoliate any like dead skin or like scabbing or like dry skin or anything you know that like was a result of a breakout. So I was out of this for a little while and I really, really missed it. So definitely had to place an order and sometimes they're out of this. So I was glad that I actually got some. So those are my favorite Glossier things. If you want to try anything from them, I, I also have a discount code that I can leave down below. I think you get $10 off, which is pretty good. And they have some other really nice products too, but these were just the things that I needed refills on. I can't live without. Okay, another kind of fun purchase from this month is my red pointy Rothy's. I had been eyeing these for a long time and I'm really glad that I finally got them because I've been wearing them really often. I don't really have a lot of red in my wardrobe but that actually works out well because I don't think these would go very well with like an actual red outfit but I really like these with just kind of like a more basic outfit like some jeans and a white shirt. Even with this red dress I could wear these today. They just look nice as like a pop of color. They're super comfortable and they're made from recycled water bottles so that was why I like originally started looking into Rothy's. So they're really sustainable ethically made shoes and they're really really comfortable these I got a full size up from what I typically wear I typically wear a seven and a half and I got these in an eight and a half and they're still like not loose I think it has something to do with like the point like and maybe like the shape of your toes or something so for me it worked out to get a full size up and then they fit really comfortably so I do have to say that the day before these came in the mail I was wearing my teaks those used to be like the ultimate teacher shoe I wore those one day and then I wore these the next day and these are so much better. My teaks are not nearly as comfortable and since the teaks are like that really soft leather, I feel like it always looks like my toes are trying to like escape out of them. It just looks kind of funny and like these are, are a little thicker so it doesn't look like that. And with the teaks they have that like gathered back and so that always digs into my heel and it's really uncomfortable. These don't have that. So I just much prefer the Rothy's. If you're gonna do kind of a more expensive classic flat that you can wear for a long time. I would do Rothy's over Teaks personally and I also have a discount link for these where you can get $20 off. I was trying to kind of compile things that I had discount codes for that I love. Hopefully this video will just be a good place to like store all the links where you can get discount codes on stuff so maybe like bookmark this one and come back to it in case you're ever interested in any of this stuff. Okay the last thing I wanted to talk about today is a book. This one is The Unexpected Truth About Anne Animals by Lucy Cook. It's a long one. This one took me quite a while. It is, oh, 
400 pages, but what I liked about it is that it is about animals. So let me let me tell you the animals that you're gonna get in here. Eel, beaver, sloth, hyena, vulture, bat, frog, stork, hippopotamus, moose, panda, penguin, chimpanzee. So you do learn really interesting things about all of those animals, but really each chapter is kind of a historiography of the way that we have studied those animals ever since like the days of the ancient Greeks. So there's actually a lot of interesting things in here about ancient Greek philosophers and what they thought about these different animals that I think I'm going to use next year in my ancient Greece unit with my sixth graders. And it's just really interesting to see like the conclusions that people came to and the way that they tried to study animals. Some of these animals are just so elusive like eels and stuff and it's hard to figure out like where they came from and how they breed and all of these things so it's just really interesting to see like the things that we have believed about animals and the way that we've reinforced those beliefs or like what happens to people when they try to disrupt those beliefs so this book just has a lot of value for like historians for people that want to learn more about animals and it's really really funny <laughs> I mean, this book is like laugh out loud funny, and this is not for your students. I'm not gonna be putting this in my classroom. You know, there are like bits and pieces I could pull out, but as a whole, this, this book is for adults. But it's really interesting, and it does just kind of make you want to pay more attention to the living things around you and the ways that they are all interconnected, and when we damage one part of an ecosystem, or if we have damaging beliefs about a certain member of that ecosystem, it really throws everything else off so definitely highly highly recommend this one all right guys thanks for hanging out with me today let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite things were in the month of may and i'll see you in my next video bye